Today is a very special day. Now, I'm gonna throw on this hat because my hair is looking crazy, but I am finally getting some more ink. So today, I am adding onto this forearm here, but on the inside, and starting to build this left arm sleeve. I have quite a few tattoos now, a half sleeve on my leg, and plus what I have on my arms. So I think it would be a fun thing to show y'all what I do on my tattoo day. Now currently it's 9.30 a.m. and my appointments are usually at noon. So I have a few things to do before I head over to the shop. The first of which is cleaning myself up, getting in the shower and just getting myself smelling good because I don't want to be stuck in this chair for hours with my artist smelling like shit. <laughs> like let's just be honest. Then number two is getting something to eat. It's always good to stay hydrated you can get some food in your stomach when getting a tattoo. And number three is finally going to the bank and grabbing some cash. Now I have a few hours to do that, but I don't want to waste any time. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It's now 11 a.m. and I'm fully ready to go. I'm showered, dressed, fed, hydrated, really everything I could do to be prepared for this tattoo. Now that I'm done that, I'm gonna make sure not to forget my water bottle before I leave the crib. And I'll pick the camera back up when I'm at the tattoo shop. Now I just got here to the tattoo shop and there was one thing I said I didn't want to forget, which was my water bottle. And not only did I forget that, but I also forgot my mic. So sorry if this audio is a little bit trash. Um, I just DM John, so I'm waiting for him to come down right now. But it's tattoo time, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. If looks could kill, I'd probably be locked up for murder. Yeah, I'm rocking the stage, y'all, and this bitch my shirt up. Yeah, I'm smoking on big moves, so I'm so sure you ain't heard of. Furry's not the right word, just because there's a weird connotation with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, like, just texture, I'd say. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think, like, the big thing for this part right here would be to just uh, line it up with like what you previously have. Mm. But even if this is just like in and around like the area, we could kind of like just draw in that water to connect with it, yeah? Right. So yeah, that's just the stencil. Something that's great about John is the, the piece after always is just so much better than the stencil. So if y'all can't come up with your own imagination with the end product, it's gonna look like, just imagine that times five on skin. So oh it looks better, trust, yes, <laughs> trust. Yeah, without a, we got a, we got a few hour session. I wanna go, I can get comfortable, get this, this jacket off. And then, uh, camera on the tripod. So this is what my arm is currently looking like. It all starts with cutting the stencil, shaving my arm so it's a clean canvas, then applying that stencil. Once we have that done, it's time for the tattoo. Now obviously I had to time lapse this portion because the lining alone took about an hour and a half, but this is what it looked like when the lining was finished. All right, so we just took a quick break because we finished all the lining on it, get a few clips, but we're starting the shading now. We just actually just started right here on this little side area. And then I'd say we probably got about like two more hours, an hour and a half left. Light work, I feel like I'm used to this now, so there's really nothing to trip about or nothing to describe to y'all. Uh, tattoos are, they get as worse as they probably can in the first 30 minutes. And then from there, the paint doesn't get any worse. It kind of just stays the same. So if y'all are okay with pain, it kind of just goes away. And, Realistically, y'all will be able to do it too. You shouldn't be too scared to get your first tattoo. But John will be back in a few minutes so we can go ahead and finish the rest of this tattoo and I can give y'all the final results to see y'all in a little bit. Now this shading portion took about two hours and for some, they say this is the worst part of the tattoo. Others say the lining is way worse. In my opinion, the shading is a little bit more painful, but it's crucial if you want to have nice contrast in your tattoos like mine. So I'm back at home now and the last time I picked up the camera was actually about two or three days ago. Uh, I got the tattoo on Friday and it's currently Monday. 
The reason for that is because I just wanted to give my tattoo some time to heal, let the redness and swelling go down before I showed y'all the final result. But before I can even do that, I still do have this new skin on, this derma skin, which is usually a pain to take off just because it's, it's so good. I've taken multiple showers and everything and this bandage is still on. Usually when getting a tattoo, your artist will tell you how long to keep it wrapped up for before taking it off. And for each artist, this kind of varies. Sometimes they'll say take it off the same day. I've heard artists tell me wait 24 to 48 hours. And my current artist tells me realistically leave it on as long as you want or as long as you can. Because most of the healing process, the itching and all the peeling will kind of be minimized if you just keep your bandage on. But in this case, I really want to show you guys this tattoo and get this video out. So let's head to the bathroom and just kind of go through the process of what I would do when healing my tattoo. Now from my experience, the best way to take off this uh, derma skin is by using water. And usually I would go ahead and do that in the shower. Since this is YouTube and there's terms of service, I'm not gonna get naked and go ahead and start showering. But I am here at my bathroom sink and I'm just gonna try and run some water on it while I go ahead and peel it. And of course, try and show you guys. Oh, the worst part about this is that I have hair around the area that he didn't tattoo. When this derma skin gets stuck on that, it really sucks. But if you just get your arm under it like this while you're running water over it, it should make it a lot, a lot easier. Ugh. There you go. Now I'm just gonna get a light rinse on this with some cold water. Now that I have it rinsed off and the bandage is off, the next step you usually wanna do is wash it with a non-scented, um, I don't know why I was gonna say shampoo, but a non-scented soap. And then after that, you wanna pat dry it with paper towels or a clean towel. And then just throw on some non-scented moisturizer. Aveeno is a good brand for both the soap and the moisturizer, but if you want an even better one, and I'd recommend using Aquaphor. It has some great healing properties and it's similar to Vaseline, which will almost add a nice thick film over your tattoo and keep it moisturized throughout the day. Now guys, this isn't the fully healed tattoo. It might still do some peeling and I really have about a week to figure that out. But I usually do that routine that I kind of just walked you guys through two to three times a day for the first two weeks of the tattoo, just to ensure that the healing is gonna go good, I'm not gonna have any problems with infection, and of course, the ink is gonna retain in my skin, and make sure that it doesn't fade anytime soon. Now, I don't wanna go too in depth on the new tattoo because I'm thinking I wanna do some type of tattoo tour in the near future. Of course, I'm gonna tag my artist John's Instagram in the description as well. If you guys wanna check out any of my other vlogs, make sure to click on this playlist here, or if you wanna just subscribe for more content, click here and as always make sure to have a good day peace